Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Ray here, back for another Transformers Transformation Review thingy. So, a week from now, we'll have bought a whole pile of shit, probably have had quite a few pints, we may be heading out for dinner, and then we'll be all heading back to the venue and having a big old party. That's just the way it goes at old AA. Yeah, the videos are coming up thick and fast. It's really good. I'm so excited. <clears throat> Green. The unofficial, official, unofficial, Auto assembly color of 2011. So, seen well there, bigging it up, mm, bro. So, um, <clears throat> there was something else I wanted at auto. Yes, the other thing I wanted at auto assembly, and I'm also not going to get because it's one of those things like Antagony that you just don't get. Shocker act. Nah. I have, of course, Rampage. Who doesn't? Any Transformers fan worth of salt who likes Beast Wars? That's most of you, I think. Yes, I think it's most of you. Has a rampage and probably wants a shock correct. And then the other one, it was the universe razor claw. Now it's interesting because I've kind of got, yeah, uh, you know, I've got most the vast majority of the basic molds. When I say the basic molds, I don't mean the basic class. I mean the original mold, you know. And if I really like it, then I want the recolor. So I like I like tiger hawk, so I want razor claw. I like uh, Rampage, so I want Shockerack. I like, um, I like Ant, Fire, Ant, what's this? Inferno, so I want Antagony. And <clears throat> I don't have Striker, but I like Striker because i just seen George's uh, Obsidian Striker review, which you should check out because Striker's awesome. And, you know, I like that class size. Deluxes and Basics are fine, but as soon as you hit Voyager, Ultra, Mega, Supreme Ultimate. That's where I start to get very excited about shit. Very, very excited. So today I am doing the deluxe figures. Uh, well, the one is a basic and the one is a deluxe. So, um, <clears throat> well, I'm only doing one. I'm wearing green, by the way. So I'm doing iguanas, transmetal two iguanas. So the first thing I want to show you is this. Uh, because I recently completed, I thought I completed my Beast Wars collection. I'm not complete. I have one more figure to get, which is Air Razor. Okay, there are the Annie, they're the they're the Beast Wars mutants thing to collect. You know, the Soundwave and the whatever they are. I don't really count those, and I know a lot of other people don't. So, I got the last. I I have recently. I got. The last two of three, which was Buzzclaw and Iguanas. And I'm not going to open this. I'm just going to try and get this guy loose at Auto Assembly, which is next week. <laughs> I believe um, Simon's birthday's uh, been postponed until next year, when he'll be a year older. No. Um, so I'm still going on Thursday. And I know George is going on Thursday. And we'll be at the hotel. So send me a message. I hope you're going. We'll all hang out. It'll be great fun. So I want the... Um, I will be able to pick him up. I'll be able to pick him up at Auto Assembly. I don't want to open this just because it's nice and fresh. Fava beans, Chianti, all that kind of stuff. So, Transmetal 2 Iguanas. I always find, don't tell anybody, that the Transmetal 2 versions are always much more exciting, don't you? I don't like to admit it, but that's just the way it is. Iguanas Predacon. He says, the shortest path between two maximal points is a heat-seeking missile. Why not? It's okay. Iguanas is a master of combat calculations. Oh, is he indeed? That's the first time I'm reading this. Armed with long-range tactical missiles capable of carrying a wide range, wide variety of warheads, his firepower rating is among the highest of the Predacons. Wow. I'm liking him a bit more. Able to accurately calculate target uh, target positions from credible distances. Sorry, man. Can't speak English today. Uh, he obliterates enemies from thousands of kilometers with cutthroat precision, special titanium armor plating withstands even the most severe blasts. Where am I? So I can show you the stuff. That's what he does. That's all you need to know. He's a frilled lizard. So we had the Iguanus, who was the basic from the original Beast Wars line. Very, very nice. I won't open this. I'll just keep it there, like I say. And he is a frilled lizard. Let's have a look at his little face. If you can see it just about. Little for a lizard. The Transmetal 2 version. Oh, God, he's so nice. This was gifted to me as a... I think it was a birthday present from the Redoubtable George. Love it. Just love this thing. Among the things that I love in the Beast Wars era are flying things, creepy crawly things, and reptiles. Being an amateur herpetologist, not anymore, I used to be, I love reptiles. Absolutely love reptiles. Look at this 
observe the eye. This is a transmetal to goodness for you. Okay, the word that I always forget. There's two words I always forget. There's the word asymmetry. That's the word. And the word that I can't say properly. What's the word I can't say properly? Oh, God. This is the word I can't say. I always forget it. I can't say it properly. I have to think. I have to stop and think about it before I say it. It'll come to me, hopefully. What's the word I can't say? Oh, Christ. Anyway. Um... <laughs> I look at this eye, very nice. You see, this is what Transmetal 2 Beast Wars give you. This is what, and you go to the other side. And of course, this is his bad side because he's got this fucking screw on his face. And again, I, I, I got a message saying, you know, <laughs> talking about the, the allure, the appeal of Earth cars. And I think that's why the live movie line really works for some people. If you're a petrol head, which I'm not, not especially, I like a good bus. If you're a petrol head, then you probably really like the whole alternators, vinyl tech, live movie line because you see real cars that turn on the butts and that's kind of, that can be kind of sexy and I, I understand that, you know. But if you're not a petrol head, then you probably like these. You probably like beast formers. You probably like the G1. Well, there's a whole lot of recognisable cars from that line. But um, you get this asymmetry. That's the word, asymmetry. Nice stuff going on here. And he's, he's this frilled lizard. Now, I think he's got a little gimmick. What is his little gimmick? Now, he has a missile here, which I don't have. And I tell you, I, I wouldn't mind it, but I wouldn't keep it in his mouth. So I'd probably lose it. Now, the reason I wouldn't keep it in his mouth is because missiles that are stored in the mouth tend to have uh, rather have a tendency to fire when you don't want them to which is rarely if ever isn't it and it would shoot across the room and I would lose it so I don't have that I could have said I had this missile but of course like all people like, like all beast wars bots that fire from their mouth the thing shot across the room so I don't have it <clears throat> don't care Frill, there's a really good range of movement. Now look at the Observe the Transmetal 2 goodness here. All this lovely, really nice chrome shit. I love the way these frills can come up. Now, how is it we make them fire? There is a way. There is a way that makes them fire. See, I should have done this little bit of research. Uh, the frills will come up. Now, they they won't actually stay up really erect. It, it, it isn't, it's not remarkable. It's, it's something very, very subtle. And then the missile will fire from his mouth. But I'm not entirely sure how that happens. I thought uh, there's a tiny little switch there, which you'd hardly see. Do you know what? I think that was it. Yeah, that was it. Let me show that to you again. Uh, you do this. There's a little button underneath. And that's what he does. You see? The little orange thing here. The little orange thing there. Once you have the missile in his mouth, you pull that back. It will fire. And that will happen. It's unremarkable, that, isn't it? You know? I'm Again, I'd rather it do it than not. But there you go. That's not we, we we do get some Beast Wars things because of their let me show you case in point. One sitting over here in my box of goodness. We'll be with you shortly. Oh god, dead air. Bad air. There he is. Uh case in point. Is this guy who I've reviewed before and will not be reviewing today. I mean, you get this guy uh because of his uh, this thing that popped off there. You get him because he's got... He is the king of gimmicks when it comes to this class of Beast Wars figures. Because as posability is next to nothing here. But it doesn't matter. Because there's so much shit going on. But this guy looks great and he is posable. There isn't so much shit going on. But he is posable and he does look good. Transformation. Let's have a look. I want you to show you this stuff first. All down his tail. There is a little bit of movement in this tail, as there would be. Right, very simple transformation. Yeah, I put up this little thing about, you know, auto assembly and Smizno, whose name is not Dave, <coughs> wore this green t shirt and then I wore a green shirt and I said I would wear green and I asked other people to wear green and Will wore green, which is great. Ghost of Star Starscream, good guy. Sorry about the fucking shit, man, but hey, I'll buy you a pint. Um, <coughs> I like this. I like this. I like the way this happens. This is a. This is quite a cool thing. This is quite a cool thing. This, uh, the uh, frilled lizard's head rotates all the way 
180 degrees to the rear. Look at that. That's tidy, isn't it? We open up these bad boys. Now, he has some of the... His head is extremely cool. And the good thing about him, that little gimmick that Universe has done so well, is that there's a really good head reveal. Uh, let me just fix his legs and his feet up first. Just turn him the though. There's a wasp trying to get in. Go away. Uh, nice little thing here. What I like very much. Oh, we do this. Sorry. Is that the beast hands? The beast hands. The beast feet were there, and the robot hands. You push the thumb down like that. You see, I like that. I like it when a bot does that. I really do. I don't have his missile. Wouldn't mind his missile, but again. I like to keep him in his beast mode just because I think the frilled lizard looks so good. And I wouldn't store it in his mouth. Where else would I put it? I'd still tape it to the underneath of him. I've tried that before. It doesn't really work and it takes off chrome. Um, nice. He's got this huge big ponytail, samurai ponytail thing going on. Which we take all the way to the rear. And there he is. Look at this tabard shit going on. Awesome, awesome, but there is a universe repaint which is also entirely successful. Look at his face, he looks like he's having a really violent crap. God bless him, the poor chap here. Now, look, you see his Predacon symbol in there. No more rub symbols, but I like the shiny crap that goes on here. And again, you've got the asymmetry. How do you think about it? One more. What's the word I can't say? No, ask me at auto assembly. Very, very nice bot. Displays really well. And again, you would have his weapon in his hand. And that's fine. But I like to display him in his beast mode. Uh, because I just do, you know. Um, how much can you pick him up for? He's fairly cheap. It's probably about a tenner. If you get him complete, he'll probably cost you a little more. Probably about 12, 13 quid on card. What's the going rate for him on card? You could probably pick him up for the same. Um, but I will pay for this guy up to probably about 20 quid if I got him on card. Wouldn't mind the universe version. I say wouldn't mind. I'll probably actively see it at auto assembly. Good range of movement. Very tidy range of movement. Love the way he's got these big shoulder pads. He does. He looks like a kind of a warrior samurai thing with his tabard at the rear, which is really quite convincing and very, very nice. Good color scheme. Um, <clears throat> so I'll be back on Monday because it's every other day now with me. Um, I'm going to have to find another green shirt somewhere because it's just a little thing. I've just taken this little notion upon me to wear green. And uh, a few of the rest of you are picking up that gauntlet too, which is nice. I'm going to go and have some green apple aid now, I think. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Ray with Transmetal 2 Iguanas, legging very much, there's the button, signing out. See you next week.